guys, it's Katie Rose here from The Wild with Chellies, and I wanted to give you a quick update on, I guess I'm pretty much now 33 weeks, so I can't even say that I'm 32 week update. But a few things have happened that I kind of expected were gonna happen, and I wanted to let you guys know. So let's start with the bump. It is getting quite large. Like I said, I am just at uh, 33 weeks now, and I've kind of started to run out of options of clothing. So I just ordered these pants from H&M because they're comfy and I'm so sick of wearing leggings. And then this is just a really old sweater that I've had from Lole. I think I got it at the very beginning of uh, fall last year. So it's comfy, it fits over the bump. And to me right now, that is all I'm focusing on. <laughs> So on to the pregnancy. As you guys know, I've been getting tested regularly for cholestasis. And what that is, it's, it's almost like a liver disease that happens during pregnancy. And it can cause the risk of having a stillbirth to rise exponentially. So to treat cholestasis while you're pregnant, they give you a medicine to bring down your bile salts because unfortunately, when your bile salts are high, your hands and your feet start to itch really bad. And so I've gotten to the point where I hadn't been sleeping because I was just so insanely itchy. So I'm on that medication. And then the other thing that they do is they induce you just after 37 weeks. So I'm 33 weeks now. It means that I'm only gonna have four more weeks left of being pregnant with this baby and I'll be induced. Next week we go for our first ultrasound on the seventh floor, which is at the IWK, it's more of your high risk pregnancy ultrasounds. Um, and we're gonna find out more then about how the baby's doing, how the pregnancy looks, and then get a date in order for when I'm gonna be induced. I'm not gonna lie, I am really excited to be getting another ultrasound just because the last time we had an ultrasound was 13 weeks ago at the 20 week mark. And you just, you feel like so much has changed. My mom gut is telling me everything's okay, but you still, it's so reassuring to see that baby and see that they're fine and everybody else telling you you're fine as well. The one thing we are worried about though is that we're not wanting to find out the gender and we are gonna have at least one or two ultrasounds before I get induced. And we're really hoping that we don't see anything on those ultrasounds that will lead us to believe one gender or another. But besides that, I'm feeling great. Um, in the mornings, I almost even forget that I'm pregnant besides the fact that I'm hardly sleeping at night. And I have gained a ton of weight and I don't even care. But I will say that I am feeling like I am done with this pregnancy. I know it's my last, so I'm trying to take in every single moment that I can. But it's, it's one of those things where it's like, I love these movements that I'm feeling and I'm really trying to embrace those but the back pain and the leg pain and just the overall exhaustion at this point in pregnancy is really getting to your head and that's okay. It's totally fine to complain a little bit about that kind of stuff. So don't feel too guilty if that comes out more than not because it's been nine months in your belly and you have gone through a lot. <laughs> so stay tuned next week because I'll hopefully get another update once we've had our ultrasound and I'll let you guys in on everything there. If you don't follow us on Instagram, make sure you follow us on Instagram because we also will be posting from our stories and on our feed about a little bit of the updates. And if you love this video and you want more of these type of videos documenting my end of my pregnancy as well as the newborn stage, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that like because that allows me to know that I'm doing the right video content for you guys. Thank you so much and I look forward to updating you guys next time.